If you printed a centerphone and you're wondering what to use for a handle, something that will keep the line from snagging when spinning, something that can be used to manage the line when the centerphone's not in use, I'll show you what I made here out of some PVC, a bolt, a few nuts, some washers, and some skateboard bearings. Check the description for part numbers and sizes, and also a credit to a YouTube contributor by the name of W.S. Clater. This handle is actually a slight variation of a handle that uh, he helped me build for a DIY Steadicam project a few years back. These plans call for the use of two skateboard bearings, and those bearings fit nicely into the PVC sleeve already, but we need them to fit really snug so they stay in place. Uh, for that reason, we're going to wrap the bearings with two courses of Teflon tape. Here you can see the bare bearing uh, just slides right in and out, but the Teflon tape wrapped bearing uh, presses in really snug. Now we're going to repeat that process with a second bearing and stack the two, uh, giving us some really friction-free spin with this bolt that we're going to stick through right here. Now, although that bolt is spinning freely already and could probably be used as is, I'm going to pop it back out and we're going to apply some Teflon tape to the bolt um, as a sound countermeasure. So we don't have any metal on metal. Uh, that sound tends to transfer through that fishing line into the centerphone and pick up on the camera otherwise. Here's a quick example of how well that sound transfers through the line. In this case, as the line is snagging my, my thumb and my knuckle. Okay, now it's time to cinch down that bolt, so we're going to use a socket and a pliers to uh, tighten a nut on. In my case, I'm using one of these nice nuts with a rounded top that will keep the line from snagging. It's also got a self-locking nylon insert. So actually, in this case, I don't even use the washer, guys. Now, depending on the type of bolt and nut that you use, you may have to use a washer to ensure that it makes good contact with the inside race of the bearing. Now if at first tighten it doesn't seem like it's spinning freely, no problem. It's probably best to just slightly over tighten at first anyhow. No worries, just back it off by maybe an eighth of a turn and then give it another flick and make sure it really whirs. Alright, so we need one last nut, this one in reverse order. Uh, so if you have the nice nuts with the rounded ends, you'll point the rounded ends towards each other. It's that gap between these two nuts where the loop of the centerphone line will go. Uh, that way as it's spinning, as it pivots and angles, it won't get snagged on a sharp corner of the nut. Now provided you're happy with the gap and your bearings are still spinning freely, now you can use uh, some PVC couplers and additional pieces of PVC to build out your handle. Now they fit pretty snug already, but once you've built the handle, if you, if you feel you want to keep it in one piece, you can tape those seams, um, but I think it's perfectly usable without even taping the seams. So get out there and use your new handle to turn this into this.